Alrighty, I uh, set up the build the stations for uh, what to actually uh, use this for. So in the first part you have a stencil table and yeah, uh, well, oh, I have no crafting table here. The horror. Yeah, I like my crafting tables uh, near and dear and always around. And I do kinda make them not stick out all that much by placing them on the floor, but well. <laughs> So yeah. Oh, come on, a little bit. Yes. So uh, this is how you make the blank patterns. And in this uh, first uh, here, come on. stencil table uh, uh, unit, well, you can see there is a tool rod pattern. Now I've already built that. And uh, well, the pickaxe, and oh, I guess I can use a shovel. An X. Yeah, you can make a matax, and then you have a, a shuffle X all at once. I've got this. I've got this. Well, we we'll pretty much want everything at least once. Two blindings. Yeah, and a pen pattern because you can make a big frying pan as an attack weapon or a battle sign. But <laughs> well, and knives. I don't really like because they don't have that much range. And I guess we can make this and tough rod pattern. Yeah, fine. So now uh, I've got lots and lots of patterns, and uh, well, those patterns, of course, they fit on uh, the actual uh, casting table there. But if you pour hot liquid over a wooden, uh, uh, you know, uh, mold, then it will just burn. So then you go to the part builder and. Uh, well, we'll need uh, the tool, the the rod, and this, which is a uh, pickaxe, the the tool rod, uh, and the tool binding. But here now, you used to be able to actually uh, use uh, good materials here. I don't know if you still can, but you can at least just use stone, and then you get a stone tool rod and some some extra stone from a ch stone shard. And uh, the same with uh, the pickaxe head, but it uses two stone to make, so it doesn't have the stone shard. And uh, well, same for the bindings. And it uh, indeed does use only one stone instead of the two, which you get from uh, using it. And now my inventory is full. So yeah, you can build uh, an uh, extra chest uh, for. Uh, well, specialized materials, and I guess I will. But first, now instead of um, building uh, something else, you actually place the tools that you want to build inside the casting fountain, like so, and then you use uh, gold or uh, aluminium brass to uh, actually. Uh, pour liquid around this, and that will actually then build the mold which you use to well, get some actual materials. So yeah, we'll need some gold. Well, nine is a full stack, so we'll use that. And I'll build uh, a uh, well, storage facility uh, single uh, file or well, something that only has to do with the Tinker's Construct uh, there as well, and probably even the actual uh, well, the, the box from the Tinker's Construct itself. So yeah, it was indeed wasn't the best idea to make Alumite uh, straight from the start. Because you need something to actually use them for. So now gold is uh, loaded and now we'll need some lava. And just right click and you see it's uh, not all that filled. So that's why I got some uh, more uh, buckets. And here you can see it's now filled with uh, gold ore. And uh, well, you can check the progress in the progress bar. And then it will become uh, gold liquid. And well, if everything uh, has been built properly, we can then use that gold liquid to make uh, the gold mold. And then use the gold molds. Well, once we've got a couple of them with uh, the different sorts of units that we want to make. Then we can build the alumite and uh, 
use the gold mold to uh, keep the alamite inside. Well, almost ready. Yeah, and you can see your amount of fuel here. But that doesn't really uh, matter all that much because if you uh, use it uh, a whole lot, you just build an extra section around here and you include a couple more of these uh, lava containers. And so you'll get a nice buffer and doesn't really matter uh, how many units you want to make. Because well, after it's done, you still have to use the actual uh, molten gold. So yeah, now it's molten. And let's see, does this work? Ah, should work. Because <laughs> it should now fall on this thing, but um, maybe it thinks it's too high up. Hmm, okay, let me quickly tra check if I place it there. Or oh, wait, I can just uh, place it on the side, maybe. If that will work, because I th was almost convinced that this would work. Um, can we even place it there? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that was a bit of a setback. Even though I have also done this previously where it indeed also did not really work. But, well, this is really close and uh, that might be a prerequisite so that it detects it. But, yeah, that would be strange. Okay, but we'll try it again. Yeah, now it works. So it needs to be directly below, unless you use something else that, uh, well, directs the flow apparently. But I would have liked to have just like that. Drop down. Yeah, and you don't use all the materials for the one mold, of course. So you can, uh, well, with nine golds, you can probably do a whole lot. Oh, and the. Uh, the stone rod, of course. Yeah, so I'll uh, finish up uh, all my uh, my molds in gold, and I'll well until all the gold is gone, pretty much, and I'll uh, fix that. So yeah, let's uh, do some little bit of work. Alrighty, uh, the gold is now uh, finished. So with nine uh, gold ores. We made, uh, well, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine actual uh, casts for uh, the tools we want to build. And now we do want to make the actual pickaxe. And we could use a different uh, tool for the binding and for the rod and for the pickaxe head. And that is actually useful in some situations. But uh, in the case of just having uh, a pickaxe, um, doesn't really matter. We'll just use the alumite. And I uh, still have it in my inventory, so yeah, that's good. Oh, but it is no longer in the proper. <laughs> but I am, yeah, this is correct. So yeah, now because there is already lava in here. It starts melting immediately, and uh, it is not the same smelting speed or time for each different material. So here you see iron, and obsidian, and uh, aluminium or aluminite. And well, the main reason we want the aluminite is for the pickaxe head. So I could just build a whole lot of pickaxe heads, and then uh, well, build several pickaxes. But yeah it's not really necessary because with um, this stuff wait, there are materials you can use and I don't know if it's in here or in the other book it's probably in the other book and that is not in my inventory at the moment uh, well there is at least um, uh, several different modifiers for instance if you use just obsidian for the, the crossbar or the tool binding that is an extra uh, durability uh, on your gear but if it is uh, this uh, alumite and then uh, with those two together the alloy of it 
that is also pretty strong on its own so it doesn't really need anything different and there are some sort of uh, well bit cheesy kinds of uh, ways uh, to handle it because you can use I think the actual tool rod from paper and then you can put an extra enchant on it or well those aren't really enchants those are uh, improvements because the third uh, tool station it is where you actually build your tools so uh, you have the three different uh, alumite uh, uh, tools that you would then have cast from these and then you can uh, use that actual thing here and then improve them with well lapis for fortune redstone for haste and mossy cobble for uh, auto repair or moss stone I don't know if it's the same uh, actual uh, recipes but stuff like that and uh, you get it on swords with sharpness as well with uh, nether quartz I think it is yeah and obsidian takes of course the longest to uh, actually uh, melt because it's already pretty much molten lava that got uh, cooled enough to be solid so you need some temperature <laughs> and it's almost finished yeah so now it has a different color once again and um, you can see how uh, much uh, molten alumite is in here it's not a lot but now we actually have a alumite pick hex head and yeah you can just build on uh, several ones but I want the entire thing first and we still have some left so we could uh, probably also build a sword but first things first we want to build a pickaxe so durability 700 mining speed 8 which is good mine level cobalts and three modifiers remaining which you can change by making uh, different sorts of uh, materials but uh, the complete alumite is already nice oh and I got tinkerer from achievements nice so yeah I'll uh, continue with this and build a sword and well then I probably have to farm a lot so I can get uh, well fortune and uh, at least some moss so it repairs itself automatically if you don't use it and I don't know if you have to be in uh, the light or uh, if you're not but yeah this is uh, nice for uh, a little progress in uh, the world of arcana craft because I preferred the Ars Magica things on its own and I of course did build a spell uh, the magical uh, damage because well yeah I actually need to level up before I can go for my uh, frost or something yeah my cotton field is uh, still kind of slow because I just let it grow uh, and uh, well went on doing some other stuff like for instance building building up at least my bookcases and just need a few more and then I can do level 30s and this of course is definitely something where I would want to build a pathway and I guess we'll build it out of uh, a little bit of stone there and a little bit of wood here so it is uh, a sort of transition like that is all sort of uh, dark and uh, gloomy and well <laughs> it's uh, a forge pretty much and here this is uh, all of wood on their own so that's why I also built this out of wood and yeah I'll have to go into the nether real soon but that will do uh, another time so yeah thanks for watching and uh, I'll be back later